Hey, what's up guys? Grown Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break today. A little bit different. I don't normally do this on the channel. You guys know I love the sub boxes, things like that. Create my own GTH box, you know, etc, etc, so on and so forth. Today, I don't... This is a product I've never done on here. For sure this product, but I've also not done these types of products on here normally. But we'll see how this goes today, and who knows, maybe I will get into this a little bit more here on the future. Today we're going to do my first ever eBay mystery box on this channel. Um, background cards, very quickly, let's touch on those. So, reason I put uh, on the right side, they're both new to uh, making their kind of debuts on this channel, both these cards. I picked them up recently here. On the right side, we got my Project 2020 Mike Trout kind of redo of the rookie card there. And then on the left side, from uh, 2012 National Treasures, uh, my BGS 8.5 Hannes Wagner uh, game used baseball bat uh, relic kind of card there very very cool thing how can you you know not put anything in uh, with Haas Wagner that's just uh, insane to have in the PC even though it's only a very small piece it's really cool to have but anyway guys the uh, the main thing behind this is that trout that I have up there I could have put up the trout you know rookie that I have uh, but uh, I chose to put up the Haas Wagner but I wanted to put up a trout and the reason that I put up a trout rookie card is the name of this nothing really to show because it's just kind of in a plain box this is how it comes in the mail this is called if you search on ebay 2011 tops update baseball card pack lot that's the exact name of this uh mystery box and, and my assumption to that uh is because ebay does not like mystery boxes they don't like anything named mystery box so you kind of have to be a little creative i guess and you know what you call your products and stuff like that but trust me there are tons of them out there that still exist but they have to be creative, uh, just like, you know, this one is uh, kind of called. So don't be misled by the 2011 Tops Update Baseball Card Pack Lot thing, whatever. This is a mystery box. If you read the description, they will tell you what you can get in there. You get a decent mix of packs. Um, I think there's some literature in, in here on top. Um, and I will put the username and stuff like that and all the info in the description for you guys if you want to check it out. I assume these are still for sale. I believe they are because they've been on there for months. I think they've done a few editions of this by now, but the uh, the eBay users, Baseball Card Boys, uh, kind of all, you know, one word and stuff like that. And again, I'll put it in the description. This will run you about $66 plus, you know, whatever your tax is, local and stuff, and that includes the shipping and stuff like that. Reason I came across this, uh, I'll give him a little shout out here, LSU Maniac. I watch a lot of his videos and stuff like that. One of the other YouTubers I check out. Uh, he's opened a couple of these in the past, and he's had some really good experience and, uh, you know, I've watched the videos. He's pulled some really good stuff out of these boxes. So I finally broke down and I said, you know what, if I'm going to try an eBay mystery box, let's make it this one because I've seen some good stuff in the past. And, uh, you know, when I bought this, I, I paid full price for this on eBay and I did not tell the seller, you know, this is going to be on YouTube or any of that stuff. Didn't tell him who I was. So this box, uh, you guys can expect this to be exactly, you know, fairly what you guys would get because, uh, you know, I, I didn't want him to like doctor it up or anything like that for any reason. Some people think that, you know, some companies do that. So this guy has no clue that, uh, you know, this is being opened on camera or anything. So here's the literature that they give you. So in this, again, this is $66 plus tax. So just, you know, close to 70 bucks, roughly five to six retail hobby packs, one to two old packs and 95 and before. Some supplies, five new rookies, five old rookies, a bonus pack. Additional bonuses included with every box. Thank you and enjoy. So pretty straightforward, short and sweet. Let's see what we got. We got a bunch of loose cards here on top. We got a Gene Segura. Very nice there from uh, Heritage. That's going to be a Chrome. Uh, that's going to be one of those from the hot boxes. It's not going to be numbered or anything like that, but uh, nice Gene Segura Chrome. Kind of thrown there on top. We got a couple of, uh, looks like team bags here. We got a team bag. We're just going to do these cards as we kind of pull this stuff out. When we get to the packs, we'll, we'll address that. But let's see what we got in our first team bag here. And again, it says five new rookies, five old rookies. Um, yeah, I don't know. So we'll, we'll see what we got here. So Marvell Wynn starts us off from 90 upper deck. Mark Grayson. It's nice not having to do the flip because upper deck 90 and right around there, my gosh, the flips that you had to do in there. Jose Viscano, Hubie Brooks, Juan Samuel. These are all from 1990. They gave me a little Expo sticker even. I feel like I'm opening the pack without the actual wrapper. Kyle Daniels, Jose Gonzalez, Tim Cruz, Rod Nichols, and Dave Steeb. So interesting uh, stuff there is basically opening a 1990 pack of Upper Deck just minus the wrapper. So that's a little different. Let's see what we got below there. We got a little bit of pack action. It's like National Baseball Card Day, I think. But... Uh, 
It's obviously from 2019. We got Michael Kopech rookie right on top. That's pretty cool. We'll check that out and op open that up with the packs. We've got some loose packs here on top. Let's pull these couple out. 2021 opening day and uh, 2006 opening day hobby pack. That's an interesting one. We'll set that there. And then it looks like we got a brick. Let's pull this out. That's everything left in that box. Let's pull it over. We got a nice brick of uh, packs and maybe some cards in here. I don't know. Let's see. I honestly don't know. Uh, like I said, I've watched a couple of these being open on LSU uh, Maniacs channel. And it's some pretty cool stuff, but it's been a while since I actually saw those videos. So let's see. Oh, we got some cards and packs. So let's pull this out here. Some team bags. Let's check out our team bags and we'll check out those packs, like I said, here at the end. This looks like this is maybe 2003. I think that's the 03 design, perhaps. Or at least, no, that's actually not 03. I think that's 08. I want to say actually 08. Uh, Woody Williams in the 08 design. Yeah, there we go. Justin Smoke in the 2011 design there. Oh, there's a nice original. It's not Heritage. That is original. 1971 tops Jerry Kreider. A little miscut and stuff like that, but who cares? Look at that. That is pretty cool. And then right behind there, we got a nice 1970 uh, Mike Torres. Very cool. 1970. Love the vintage stuff. Burt Blylevin. Throwback there in Dawn Rush 2020. Dawn Rush 19, we got a Matt Carpenter. There's a nice old school. Uh, Steve Garvey. First base for the Dodgers. That's actually his all-star card there from 81. Heimer Candelario and Noah Lowry. So, a little interesting pack there. Those vintage ones were definitely by far my favorite in that. Looks like another team bag. I think the rest are maybe all packs. Let's see what we got in this team bag. If you guys have ever opened this by chance, I know it's it's a little bit trickier, you know, to find this on eBay. It's not a common thing. But if you've ever opened this by chance, let me know in the comments what you guys got. And, uh, you know, in addition, even if you haven't opened this, let me know what you guys think of this in the comments. Should I get more of these or is this worth it, you know, et cetera? But uh, we got a rookie pack here apparently because we're starting with a Scott Heyman rookie from 90 score. Jeff Houston also score. Billy Bean, wow. Every time I see Billy Bean... All I can think of is uh, Moneyball, the uh, you know GM there for the A's. Chris Hammond from Fleer 91. Greg Olson, rated rookie from Donruss 89. There's a nice Jeff McNeil, rookie from 2019 Series 1. We've got Devin Williams from 2020, rookie card there. Uh, is that Rusty Castillo? Yeah, Rusty Castillo. Gypsy Queen rookie card. Pretty cool. For the uh, Heritage Miners, Nico Holsizer. Very nice for the Stone Crabs. Heliot Ramos. And, hey, we got a nice little auto hit there, and it's an auto rookie. Kila, oh, boy, Keahui. I think that's actually it. I'm going to guess maybe he's Hawaiian. But that is from 2019 Upper Deck Spectrum. So uh, we did get, you know, at least a guaranteed hit in here as well. That's pretty cool. Always looking for autos. But, I mean, honestly, guys, the vintage uh, that we got there... A couple of vintage ones from Topps, uh, 70 and 71, are definitely my favorite cards so far. But who knows what we'll get in the packs and stuff, too, so we'll see. So we got some supplies. Look at this. They gave us an entire uh, thing here, I'm going to guess. Yeah, 100 sleeves, 100 premium trading card sleeves. So we can put that to use. I definitely need sleeves. Always need sleeves. A couple team bags, then, of packs. So let's see what we've got in here. This is probably the one to two old packs, 95 and before, because I recognize this studio. I think that's like 91 or 92 maybe let's take a look see if it says back there eh, it doesn't even doesn't even say but uh eh, no big deal we'll check it out when we get into that you can see the original price tag was on there like a dollar something scratched out in pen and there's a nice 91 leaf set series one 91 leaf so we'll get into that that's our two old packs and let's get this other team bag open. That's a pretty cool one on top. Look at that. 99 Bowman Hobby Pack. That's pretty cool. Something you'll see every day or open every day at least. So that's a pretty cool one right on top of there. we got 2017 Diamond Kings. Also very nice. Uh, and that 2017 Diamond Kings. Not sure if that's a retail or hobby. Uh, 2019 Heritage. And that is a retail. 2007 Future Stars Baseball. That's interesting. That's a hobby pack as well from Upper Deck there. That's a pretty cool one. I don't know if I've ever opened that. 2018 Series 1 hobby, or I'm sorry, retail pack. 
And then I've seen this before. I've actually never opened this, believe it or not. Uh, but Baseball Treasure from 2018. I think you get a coin in. Yeah, you definitely get a coin. It can fill the weight of this now. You get a coin in every uh, pack, so that's kind of cool. Um, I think I'm going to go with kind of the old, older stuff because I'm least excited about that, especially the studio. It's nothing great. I mean, the cards look cool, but they just don't have much value to them. Get the little puzzle back, though, still. Let's see what this is. No clue who that's going to be, obviously. So, 91 Studio. 91 Studio. So, let's see what we got. We got Chris Sabo, Dave Winfield, Scott Sanderson, Bobby Thigpen, Bip Roberts, Juan Samuel, Kevin Mitchell. Loved him when I was a kid. Andre Scalaraga. That's a pretty cool one. John Allrude and Greg Jeffries. So, there you go for your studio. Studio... Uh, Photography kind of set there. 91 Leaf, Series 1. Let's see what we can pull out here other than this really shiny, foily puzzle piece right off the bat. And again, it looks like it's a Yank based on the pinstripes, but no clue who. All right, let's see what we got. So we got Cal Daniels, Kenny Rogers, Jay Howell, Jerome Walton, uh, Howard Johnson, Donnie Slot. Remember him, man, catching for the Buckos. Mike Sosha, it's a pretty good one. Mike uh, Gallego. Joe Oliver, Joe Bover, Jay Bell, boy, I love him as a bucket as well. John Olrude, Lou Whitaker, Jerry Brown, Roberto Kelly, and Tony Pena. So there you go. That is our two old packs. They don't say vintage, mind you, uh, just old packs. So, you know what, I'm going to do the uh, this treasure pack, actually. I'm really curious about this. So it was a retail thing, as you guys can kind of see from the, the retail hanging thing there for the rack. Never opened one of these, though. Let's see what this coin is. You can feel the weight of it. I'll tell you, there's some serious weight. Again, it's from 2018. Just one card, obviously. Ooh, Aaron Judge. How about that? Ooh. <laughs> that's actually really cool. I mean, that's probably one of the better ones that you could pull in here. Aaron Judge. Very nice. You know what? That's got serious weight behind it. I'll tell you that. It's actually really cool. I have no clue in the value of something like this. I really, really don't. Um, it is a cool card, though. That's one that I'll definitely keep in the old PC. I don't care what the value is on that. That's a that's a pretty cool card. So I'll have to maybe look into that a little bit more after the break. But that's a pretty cool card. All right, let's do opening day. Um, hey, you know what? No, I can't, how can I overlook this? I can't. <laughs> I got to do the 2019 Heritage Retail. It, it's retail on top of everything, guys. You know you're not going to get anything good in 2019. You can buy these packs still loose for definitely under a dollar a pack. And normally you don't find those kind of prices unless it's, you know, the junk wax era. So Willie Adamas, uh all-star cup card there. Robbie Ray, Kirby Yates. We got one of those bottle cap or whatever they call those things. Manny Margot. Hey, it's a Bryce Harper at least. I'll take that. That's pretty cool. Bryce Harper. Candy lids. Alex Colomb. Sporting News, Max Scherzer, Pat Neshek, and Matt Strom. So that uh, Bryce Harper candy lid is definitely the best card there. Even though it's not even much of a card. Let's do our opening day from 2021. Check that out first. Then we're going to go back to uh, 2006. Let's see what we can get in a hobby pack of that. I've never even opened a retail pack of that from then. A little blue, blue foil action looks like in here, so that should be game dated. Alex Bregman, Brady Singer rookie card. Flip around for this rookie of Dalton Varsho. And then we got an Angels and Dalton Simmons opening day. That blue foil opening day there for the Dodgers. Willie Adamas and Kiebert Ruiz rookie. So nothing too crazy in that pack. Let's do our 2006 opening day. And it feels like, honestly, I've never opened this before. It feels like there's gum here. I'm going to assume there's gum in this. It is a hobby pack as well. Uh, I have no clue what to expect in this. I really don't because, like I said, I've never opened this in my life. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Uh, and it is gum. It is a big old stick of gum, but hey, it's in a wrapper. That's uh, pretty hard. Oh, and you can see it actually cracked in two, but uh, that might, who knows, maybe that's edible. I don't feel like experimenting though right now. All right, hey, look at that. What a good one to start with. Frankie Lariano, Francisco Lariano rookie card. Nice. That's a pretty good one. Anthony Reyes, rookie card. Flip her around. For Carlos Delgado. You can barely see these names. We got a rookie of uh, Paul McAnulty. 
McAnulty. Jeez, tongue twister there a little bit. Andrew Jones, rookie of uh, Daryl Rastner. And then our last card here is Sports Illustrated. That's pretty cool. For kids, uh, funny photos, each row. Let's see your lightsaber skills. That's a pretty cool card. Yeah, pretty nice. I think you're funny. Oh, that's pretty cool. Johnny Damon there on the back and insert your kind of caption. Submit it. That's neat. And then uh, this top of the class kind of, I guess, throwing, throwing card there. It's, it's pretty cool. That, that Francisco Ariano is pretty cool, though. I like that. Definitely don't have that card, obviously. Uh, I think we'll do 2018 Series 1 since it's a retail pack. We'll do that next. And actually, I forgot we have this opening day pack. We'll do that after this. You can pull autos in that opening day, uh, even though they're giving away at hobby shops. I've done it, so uh, it's tough, but you can do it. Kendris Morales, Mookie Butts, Giancarlo Stanton, Max Scherzer. We got a Chris Davis in the throwback. Opening day, Giancarlo Stanton again. Ismani Grandel, Tyler Maley. Giancarlo Stanton is just obliterating this. Holy heck. How in the heck many Giancarlo Stanton cards? I think it's the third one in this pack, and Rick Porcello. It's crazy. All right. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Jeez, I don't even know. Um, tell you what, I'm, I think I'm going to save the Bowman for last. Diamond Kings next. Oh, you know what? I hope you did. I already forgot. So nice Mo Michael Kopech rookie right on top. That's good. His uh, card values are starting to take a rebound again. So behind there, we got a Chad Bettis. Angels team card. Last but not least, a Ryan Healy. And uh, yeah, National Baseball Card Day. There's the, the kind of insert that goes with it there. So that Kopech uh, that was pictured on top is definitely the best there. All right, now let's check out this 2007 Upper Deck Future Stars uh, deal here. I guess four cards are all going to be maybe rookies. Uh, and, yeah, we're looking for these Dice K autograph cards for sure. It's a hobby pack, so pulling an auto out of here would be sick. Another product I've absolutely never opened in my life. All right, let's see what we got. Look at that. So they're not all going to be <laughs> rookie cards, obviously. We got Vladdy Daddy on here, Vladimir Guerrero. Senior future stars. Cool looking design and stuff like that, but obviously not as rookie. Oh, we got an auto. Nice. Heck yeah. Clear path to greatness. A rookie card, Dennis Dove. And it's a sticker auto, but who cares? We got an auto. Heck yeah. Look at that. That is pretty cool. I definitely do not know Dennis Dove. <laughs> but uh, it's an auto. I know it's an auto, so who cares? That is really, really cool. So we did hit an auto. Very nice Future Stars auto there. Beautiful. And how about a nice Justin Morneau? Very, uh, definitely a very good player in the past. And Aram, Aramis Ramirez. Very nice former bucko there as well. So not a bad, not a bad little pack. Pretty cool pulling an auto. Heck yeah, I'll take that. All right, let's do Diamond Kings 2017. Let's see if we can get a judge. Maybe we'll get a judge out of here. Only a couple cards. Like I said, I think this might be a retail pack, so our odds are going to be stacked a little bit against us here to get something great, but you never know. Jonas Cespedes starts us off. A nice Ty Cobb. We got backwards Ernie Banks. Probably just going to be a short print. Yeah, that's a nice little gray frame, Ernie Banks. Uh, then we got a memorable moment. Lefty Gomez. Boy, did he throw the heat. 100th career victory. Pretty cool, and a rookie of Gabriel Yanoa. So, nothing too, too crazy there, but Diamond Kings is always a pretty cool uh, break. All right, last pack, guys. Let's check this out. This is 99 Bowman Series 1, no less. Interesting. So, uh, it is a hobby pack. Uh, 10 cards. I have no idea what to expect here. You got Kerry Wood, 98 NL Rookie of the Year, and then you got the AL Rookie of the Year, Ben Grieve uh, from 98 as well. So, see what we can get here. I'll try not to spoil the last card even. I'll show it ahead of time. This pack is just disintegrating though as you open it. All right. Might be a little hard to show some of these names it looks like, but uh, bear with me guys and just trust me. So the names are down there as you see. I'm not going to do this to every card because the glare is outrageous, but uh, Derek Gibson, Chuck Finley. I'm not sure if there's any reason why some are blue, some are red. That's interesting. Alex Gonzalez, Andrew Jones, 
uh, Gil Mesh, Mike Lincoln, Bowman rookie card of Nate Corneo. Uh, let's see, Ramon Hernandez, Jarrett Wright, kind of like chromish looking card here of Alex Hernandez for the Buccos. I'm a Buccos fan, I don't even really know him. Yeah, let's turn that around. Yeah, not sure. It's just kind of like a foil. And then they give you... What is this? Oh, it's a Series 1 checklist. You actually apparently get this maybe with every pack. That's interesting. Let's check out the autographs together. I'm not going to go through all these, but if you want to pause and check that out, that's kind of interesting there. I'm just kind of curious who you can get. Alex Ramirez. Uh, let's see who else is maybe kind of big. Jason Grilly, Grilled Cheese. Heck of a reliever for the Buccos uh, for a period. Jeremy Giambi. Jason's brother, Roy Halliday. So uh, there's uh, a few decent ones, nothing insane, but uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. All right, guys. But uh, yeah, there you go. So that's the mystery box there. I know it was a little bit longer, but you know it's a lot of variation of packs. I wanted to go through everything, let you guys check out some things you probably may not have uh, seen before so much. I know I haven't seen some of these packs before. But let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I will put the links in the description um, and the info on this uh, on eBay if you want to pick one of these up for yourself if they're still available. $66 in tax, so about $70 is what I paid for this uh, kind of mystery box off of eBay here. Let me know what you guys think. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, other than the info on this box, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day, a great night wherever you are at, and we will see you next time.